So a lot of people ask, why do you have high chirp and low chirp? Your high chirp so good in shallow water, picks up all the detail, and it does work out here. We're currently 431 meters of water, but what it doesn't give you is the detail, like the low chirp. The low chirp is your deeper water transducer, and it does work well in sort of that 100, 150 meters, but it comes into its own in the deep here. And if I show you this closely, we look at this. So this is our high chirp. So I'm running two transducers at the moment, just to show you. Yes, I'm marking the bottom, but I am not marking any feed layer. And this is the feed or the scatter layer here. We've got the gain at 99, the color at 97, and we're really picking up nothing. This one here, we've got our gain at 92, color at 90, so we're running less power because this is a more powerful transducer, if that makes sense. But what we're also picking up, obviously the feed layer, that's it there, and all down through here, where it's red, it's thicker. But then there, you can see clearly two big fish below us. So who knows, they could be swordfish, they could be something else, but they're definitely two solid fish, and that's what the swords do tend to mark up like on this unit. So that's why we run the low chirp over the high chirp in the deep water. Now I've shown you that, I'm just gonna go like this, and we're gonna go straight back to low chirp. You can see there, that there is the brick going down and the bait going down, two fish there, we're in a good area.